students hope you are doing well today we will discuss all questions and answers of chapter 2 that is microorganisms friend and foe so first question is fill in the blanks first fill in the blanks is microorganisms can be seen with the help of a dash answer will be microscope second fill in the blanks is blue green algae picks dust directly from air and enhances fertility of soil answer will be atmospheric nitrogen next fill in the blanks is alcohol is produced with the help of dust answer will be yeast next fill in the blanks cholera is caused by dust answer will be bacteria yadi aapko video pasand aaye to like kar dijiyega aur aage ke videos ko dekhne ke liye subscribe kar dijiyega now question 2 Tick the correct answer. First question in question number two is: Yeast is used in the production of first option sugar, second option alcohol, third option hydrochloric acid, fourth option oxygen. Correct answer is alcohol. Now next question: The following is an antibiotic. First option sodium bicarbonate. Second option streptomycin. Third option alcohol. Fourth option yeast. Correct option is streptomycin. Next question: Carrier of malaria-causing protozoan is first option female Anopheles mosquito, second option cockroach, third option housefly, fourth option butterfly. Correct option is female Anopheles mosquito. Now next question: The most common carrier of communicable diseases is first option ant, second option housefly, third option dragonfly. Fourth option spider. Correct option is housefly. Next question: The bread or idli dough rises because of first option heat, second option grinding, third option growth of yeast cells, fourth option kneading. Correct option is growth of yeast cells. Next question: The process of conversion of sugar into alcohol is called first option nitrogen fixation, second option molding, third option. fermentation fourth option infection correct option is fermentation now question number 3 match the organisms in column a with their action in column b now there are two column in first column there are organisms in second column there are actions okay so first organism is bacteria next rhizobium next lactobacillus next yeast next a protozoan next a virus now actions first action fixing nitrogen next setting of curd next baking of bread next causing malaria next causing cholera next causing aids next producing antibodies now there is one instruction always write correct option in front of the question now first organism is bacteria action is causing cholera second organism rhizobium action is fixing nitrogen third organism lactobacillus action is setting of curd next organism yeast action is baking of bread next organism a protozoan action is causing malaria next organism a virus action is causing aids now question number 4 can microorganism be seen with the naked eye if not how can they be seen answer no microorganisms cannot be seen with naked eye because their size is very small they can be seen only with the help of a microscope now question number 5 what are the major groups of microorganisms answer there are four major groups of microorganisms first bacteria second fungi third protozoa fourth virus now question number 6 name the microorganism which can fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil answer bacteria and blue green algae now question number 7 write 10 lines on the usefulness of microorganisms in our lives answer microorganisms are used for various purposes first line bacteria especially lactobacillus promotes the formation of curd second line certain bacteria are used to produce vaccine third line bacteria are also involved in the making of cheese pickles and many other food items fourth line 
Bacteria and yeast are also helpful for fermentation of rice, idlis, and dosas batter. Fifth line, bacteria are also used in the preparation of medicines. Sixth line, yeast is used to produce vinegar. Seventh line, yeast is used to produce interstitial alcohol. Eighth line, fungi known as mushroom used as food. Ninth line, they are also used in cleaning up the environment. Tenth line, in agriculture, they are used to increase soil fertility by fixing nitrogen. Now question number eight. Write a short paragraph on the harmful effects of microorganisms. Answer. Microorganisms are harmful in many ways. Some of the microorganisms cause diseases in human beings, plants and animals. Such diseases causing microorganisms are called pathogens. Some microorganisms spoil food, clothing, and leather. Now question number nine. What are antibiotics? What precautions must be taken while taking antibiotics? Answer. Medicines taken to kill or stop the growth of harmful or disease-causing microbes in the human body are called antibiotics. These are very useful as they can only save us from many diseases. Antibiotics should only be taken when advised by a qualified physician. While taking antibiotics, a lot of curd and water should be taken and their overdose should be avoided. That's it. 